Hello, I'm Kelly Meir, Product Manager for Syntagon Packaging Technology. And today, we'd like to introduce you to our newest member of the Harsh Environment family, the Pack Feeder HE. The Pack Feeder HE complements our existing hand fed in feeds and our Pack Feeder 4 HE, our Harsh Environment Flow Wrapper. The new feeder is targeted at customers who not only have dirty products that require extensive cleaning, but also other industries that require sanitation where let's say a allergen such as nut allergies or gluten allergies, you can run a product with an allergen in the morning, clean it up, sanitize it, and then run it in the afternoon with an entirely different product. So it's also aimed at the harsh environment frozen food industry in a very wet environment where you need good sealing on the machine where it can run in a wet and condensing environment. Okay, so let's talk about the feeder. The Pack Feeder HE comes in two variations our classic three belt backlog feeder and a six belt light contact buffering feeder. So two different styles of control depending upon what you need for your product. The design of the feeder from the back plate forward is all designed as a product contact surface. So very high sanitation standards. Furthermore, it's designed as an IP65 full foam and wrench construction. So the entire feeder as well as the infeed can be foamed for sanitation purposes and then rinsed off. Again, it's IP65 water ingress protection. Okay, so let's talk about another unique feature of the new feeder. Pretty much all of the product related parts that get removed for cleaning and sanitizing store on the machine. Let me give you an example. The catch pan that we have right here, yes, you can pull it out, dump out any product crumbs and clean it, but it hangs right on the machine. So now, when we foam it and rinse it, it's within the foaming and rinsing cycle. When it's all done, you can take, the you can take it back off, slide it back in, and you're running again. Another important feature is we have scales on the machine, and you can see that this is set to five. So now we'll go over to the HMI and document that. As you can see, we're on gap belt number two, and it's set to six millimeters. Double tap it, set it to five, hit enter, and now we have documented that that setting is at five. That process goes through the entire machine. We're utilizing harsh environment IP69K photo sensors and cabling. So these eyes will live up to the worst environments of cleaning and harsh chemicals. For sanitation purposes, when we need to bolt two surfaces together like we have with these two round spacers, we utilize an HNBR special rubber seal and that helps protect against bacteria ingress to get behind so it's easy to sanitize. Okay, so the product guides are very straightforward as well. They lift up, it uses gas cylinders to hold the, hold the product guide up, and then the back guides, we simply loosen up a couple of knobs and we can slide the guide back. Easy access to the machine. So, toolless opening of the front guard can open it and you can get right in to the belt area for easy maintenance. Now, we're utilizing FDA approved food grade plugs to keep the bacteria out. We also have a scraper to scrape the product side of the belt in case any contaminants get on there. All standard. Okay, so let's demonstrate a belt change. So first of all, you have to open the front cover. And now we simply pivot the front nose roller up. We can pull the belt off easily, set that aside, take it off to clean it. The nose roller comes directly out. It has a nice storage spot right here. Then you can take the deck plate off. The deck plate also has a spot to store it. So now when you clean the machine, sanitize the machine, it's all open, easy to get to. All surfaces are visual, so you can visually inspect everything. That's how you remove a belt on the PEC Feeder HE. Now we need to change the split belt. So you need a tool to loosen up the bolts on either end. Once you loosen up the bolts, you can take off, take, the two, take them out. Now they are retained so you don't have to worry about losing them. Now we can lift the unit out of the machine. One key feature at this point is talking about the product guides. The product guides actually lift up. This allows you to clean underneath them, but then when you're running, they just go down. Also work as a nice handle. So now I can simply lift the unit out of the machine and we have a couple of hanging spots on it. So you can simply take it and hang it on the machine. It's there for cleaning and sanitizing. Do the same with the back one.
So let's now talk about the working end of the infeed conveyor. So here we have where the chain is, is run. So first of all, you need to adjust the, the position of the tail sprocket for length, different length chains. So here we have the gross adjustment for the chain take up. You can move the pin back every 30 millimeters and the pin can simply be pulled out and move 30 millimeters and everything is retained. So for setting the chain tension, we have a gross adjustment, but we also have a very nice fine adjustment. No exposed thread, so it's a sanitary system. And you can turn the knob and it changes both sides of the sprocket. So it keeps everything nice and parallel. You can change either knob, whichever was most convenient for maintenance. We also have re-greasable bearings in the infeed. That way, after cleaning, if any water or chemicals gets into the seals, we can push it out by re-greasing the bearings. For the driving the split belts, we have a dedicated servo motor that drives this gear. The gear then drives the bottom of the belt. This allows us to set the speed of the belt to be precisely what we need for good product transfers. So moving to the back of the machine, we have the sloped electrical box like I mentioned earlier. We have an IP65 or NEMA 4X connection block. And we have a standard heat exchanger to pull the heat out of the electrical box. This electrical box can hold up to 10 servo drives. On the feeder, we're utilizing industry standard, FDA approved urethane belts. Edges are sealed, it's non-wicking for food applications. Okay, so now let's look at more at the infeed. The infeed is all interlocked, so it's simple, toolless. You can rotate the latching mechanisms and simply lift the deck plate off of the machine and it hangs on the machine. Okay, same thing with the back. Simply rotate the latches, lift it up, bring it back, and it hangs on the back of the machine. Okay, so now let's talk about the chain guides. The chain guides can easily be pivoted and pulled back so that so the system is very easy to clean. You can get at the chain and sanitize everything. They can also toolessly be very easy to pull out. You can get at the lower chain guide. It also toolessly can be rotated and taken out for easy cleaning. So now we have the entire system disassembled. So this machine is now ready to be fully cleaned and sanitized.